Good morning. I'm going to go over my morning routine and the espresso equipment that I use to make my wife a mocha every single morning. Hope this helps you. I'm going to go through my equipment. I'm going to go through how I do the most amazing mocha on the planet. And you know what? If you maybe like the video and let me know, I'll maybe share her secret chocolate recipe with you. It's phenomenal. So here we go. This is my equipment. First off, the secret to good espresso is you have to have a good bean. Don't be using garbage beans, okay? I use what's called a vacuum sealer. No batteries are necessary. Phenomenal. Here you go, okay? So if you listen to this thing go, boom, okay? Hear that? Smells amazing. That's the mighty bean, okay? This is a vacuum sealer. You press this button. If you press it down, you'll hear it. Hear that? And you take it off, same thing. Hear that? Phenomenal. This keeps your beans sealed, keeps oxygen away, keeps you super fresh before you even start the process. So I use a coffee vac, vac sealer. There you go, okay? And then I've got a Mr. Coffee espresso machine. It's a 15 bar pump. It's the same like pressure that you would find at any barista joint you go to, any Starbucks, any local mom and pops espresso place that you're paying like six, seven bucks for your mocha, sometimes more depending on where you live. This is a 15 bar pump Mr. Coffee machine. It's not super expensive. It doesn't have to be super expensive to produce professional results. I used to manage baristas back in the day. Who would have thought, right? This is what you need, a 15 bar pump. This bad boy has it. That's what this is. It's a beast, okay? I do so many shots through this machine. It's bulletproof. So this is a Mr. Coffee with a 15 bar pump. It has a water reservoir in the back, okay? So see if you see the little flip here. That's where you can add a bunch of water. Some of your like cheaper machines out there, your Krups and some of the other ones, you've got to constantly add water like every stinking time, okay? That's kind of annoying when you're making your morning routine happen, right? Amazing. So this water reservoir is worth its weight in gold. The machine will produce shots quickly. It doesn't have all this lag time. Other coffee machines and espresso makers take a long time to produce the shot. I've got this thing completely shut off, and I'm going to show you how quick it produces a shot here in a second. Another key to espresso is having your grind right. This is a Capresso, C-A-P-R-E-S-S-O. It is a burr grinder, okay? Beans go in the top. Once again, the beautiful bean. Awesome, okay? And then what you're gonna wanna do, it's important that you have the, okay, the grind right. So a burr grinder like this can go anywhere from extra fine, and we're talking like powder, okay? All the way up to like a coarse grind, which is what you're gonna use for like a, a you know, a French roast, an old school cowboy coffee. You want it really coarse, but for espresso, you really wanna have it right between fine and extra fine. But on this particular model, you're gonna wanna go right here in the middle between extra fine and fine. That's like the sweet spot when you're tamping grounds. So this bad boy in the morning, this is what my whole family gets to hear early when I get up. You hear that bad boy? That's the smell of caffeine, mm. okay? You grind your stuff fresh before you get the magic going, okay? So this bad boy's gonna grind it. I can turn it off, there we go. And then my whole beans, are now beautifulness. Take a peek there. Mm, if you could only smell that. Phenomenal. Okay, so there you go. Maybe I'm a little excited about caffeine. So now the espresso machine is gonna be ready to engage, right? I'm gonna just turn it on. It's got a little red button on the right hand side. I just turned it on, okay? You come, comes with one of these bad boys. Take one scoop. It can be heaping, it doesn't really matter. Dump it in there. Okay, see how it's kind of riding on top? This is a tamper. You're gonna take this and you're just gonna tamp the grounds. You're just gonna kind of like press it, okay? There you go, you tamp it down. You just take this and then you go press it. There you go, see that to the depth? And you're done, no big deal. The grounds are now tamped. So now we're ready to make a shot of the good stuff, espresso. So the machine here is now ready to go. You see it's got a little green light here on the right that is checked. The power button is on. I just turned it on. Hasn't been long. I like using a bigger shot glass. You can use some tiny little things, one on each side. To me, it's a waste of dang time, okay? So I use one because it's got two little spigots here where your espresso joints that you see will have one on each end. 
That's fine. I used to be a barista. I like one. Okay. Here we go. It's all personal preference. So you want to take this into the machine at an angle. Okay. See my angle here? Put it in. There we go. And then move it to the right. Now we're ready. It's locked in. Take your shot glass, put it underneath. All you gotta do, okay, is press this little button. There, it has like a little picture of like a coffee cup, okay? Press that once, it stays lit green. And then there's a lever here on the right-hand side of the machine. It's super easy to use. Right now, it's in the off position. If I were to go up, that would be like for the steam, making your cappuccino milk. I don't really need that, I'm just making a shot. So I press the coffee button here, and then this little lever on the right, I just press down, okay? Here we go. Hear that beautifulness happening? It's amazing, all right. Here we go. It's producing a shot. It's simple. This machine is like insanely simple to use. It's bulletproof. You can pour shots like that. All right, so here we go. Shot number one are coming. While that bad boy is doing its thing, I'm gonna just do what I do every morning and prepare my wife the second shot for her coffee. Boom, just put it in there, tamp your rounds, super simple. I'm now gonna stop the first shot halfway through, okay? I've already got my next one ready to go. Put it in, and you can leave it in there when you do it or you cannot. Super simple though. The same process, just take this out. I don't have to do anything. Super easy. Just put this in, put it at an angle, see? See my angle here? So you can see on the video. Okay, now we're good. I'm gonna put the rest of it in there. All I do is press the coffee button once to get my second shot. Okay, this lever on the right, just push it down. That's it. Now I'm pouring my second shot. I'm now almost done pouring my espresso. It's really, really simple. I'm going slow for the purposes of this video. In real life, oh my word. If I'm not doing a video on this, it's like click, 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 click. It's like riding a bike. So here you go. Shot number two. Here we are. All right. All I did is, by the way, turn it to the middle position here on the right, this lever. All right. I turned the machine off. That's hard, right? And there you go. Look at the crema on that bad boy. Are you kidding me? Mm, that's what I'm talking about, okay? Crazy barista level, espresso joint level shots. Depending on what coffee joint you go to, a shot like that is not cheap, okay? A couple bucks. And if you wanna save some money, do this stuff at home, okay? Now, what you wanna do when you're done, okay? I just set it here for a second. I just put a little rag down, okay, on the right. And now I'm gonna go make the drink for my lady. Now. Coffee is important, but what's important to ladies and guys, chocolate sauce, okay? You wanna make a good mocha, get some good chocolate. So take your chocolate, put it in to whatever levels make you happy. I go about there, okay? Just enough goodness. And this is like organic cocoa, crazy good stuff. All right, Vanna White. All you do is take your espresso, boom, okay? This stuff is so easy. What is better than half and half? Not a lot makes a good mocha, okay? If you got half and half, if you wanna go skim milk, whole milk, coconut milk, okay? Almond milk, make yourself happy. Do what you need to do. But it's not that hard, okay, to make this. Voila, we're done. Grab a spoon, stir, stir, stir. You've got your morning mocha. Super simple to make. Super simple to do. Makes my wife very happy every morning. Myself, I pour a shot straight. Every day when I go to my office, I've got one of these bad boys, okay? I love it. Good espresso is phenomenal. It's nice to be able to produce your own. Mm. Even a little bit of it's good, okay? Now, when you're done, your grounds are gonna be like this. So I would encourage you to get a bang bucket, okay? It, doesn't have to be anything expensive. It can just be a can, okay? You don't wanna use glass because when you're taking the grounds like this, you're just banging the stuff out of it. It's like lots of pressure, right? That goes into these things. So the grounds are very solid. You can buy one that's got like a little rubber stick across it. That's great. Is it necessary? Absolutely not, just get a bang bucket. 
once again, don't use glass, okay? You're gonna shatter it all over the place. But this is the system, super easy, okay? Sorry guys, this is my first video on how to use an espresso machine for you. If you like this video, feel free to like it. And by all means, subscribe. Uh, not normally doing coffee content, <laughs> as you'll find out. But I appreciate you watching. This is my espresso routine. Bobby, you're welcome. This will make a happy wife and a happy life. I appreciate you watching. Mr. Coffee 15 Bar Pump, Capresso Burr Grinder, and the Coffee Vac. Titevac.com. By the way, they don't sponsor a dang thing. That'd be awesome, though. They could pay for my beans. That'd be great. They won't, though. All right. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one. Hope this helps. This will make your life easy.